great to see him back on SmackDown, I must say. And Dolan looking to take Sonya Deville now, but the veterans here of Deville and Natalia. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here. Welcome to After News Delight. And uh, not that this is new news, uh, but a lot of you guys have already heard this, but Gigi, I got some bad news. Gigi Dolan uh, is out with an injury. I don't know how long, but I know she's not able to wrestle this match on Friday. As a matter of fact, I don't even know when she injured it, but... Uh, supposedly she got injured uh, I don't like I said I don't even know when she got injured let me see if I can find some information for you for you guys um, let me see here let's go to this site here let's see if they got any information uh, we know that uh, Gigi Dolan and JC Jane uh, had an impressive Smackdown debut winning their uh, tag team tournament match they were going to face and it's funny because they actually got in the tournament because they had to re, uh, replace an injured team. Maybe it was some karma because, remember, they uh, their leader, Mandy Rose, injured Zoe Stark on Tuesday last week. And uh, so Zoe Stark and Nikita Lyons could not uh, be in the match. So it was uh, Toxic Contraction who replaced them. And they beat Natalia and Sonya Deville back on Friday on SmackDown. And now we see that uh, Gigi Dolan has had an injury, so they got pulled from the tournament and now it's going to be a fatal four-way tag team match that will play, take place this Friday on SmackDown. Uh, the names are, uh, I forgot who the names were because they actually revealed them on Raw. I forgot who it was going to be. Um, uh, I think it was like Nikki Ash, Dewdrop. I think I saw them in there. Maybe Tamina, Dana Brooke. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember who was all up in that match, but it's going to be a fatal four-way, and that will decide who takes over that match and who faces uh, Raquel Rodriguez and Aaliyah, who uh, is waiting for somebody in the semifinals on that side of the bracket. Tonight, we had Dakota Kai and EO Sky make it to the finals. They beat Alexa Bliss and, uh, and uh, Asuka. So, um, but yeah, man, I don't know what this injury extent is. Uh, and I, I don't know what's going on, man. And, and it sucks because Toxic Attraction was definitely looking so good, man. Um, I, I hated that this happened, man. I uh, hope it's not serious. Like, she's going to be out for a while. Um, but another thing is, too, because I heard you guys also say this. Why didn't Mandy stand in for Toxic Attraction? I know she got the NXT title, but she could have at least replaced uh mandy i don't i don't get what was the reason why they did that i i actually think it's not fair to uh i, th I think i think it's actually not fair to uh jc jane but uh oh okay 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 so i'm hearing that it was uh a neck injury oh that makes sense that makes sense so Oh, it was a neck injury. Okay, ooh, that's that's not good. That's one of the that's one of the injuries that you don't want to hear about because that's that's something that can really in her career, man. Like that's some stuff that could or shorten it. No, you don't want that. Ah, she had a neck injury. Damn. Oh man, I don't I don't know about this, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god! It didn't happen in this. It, ha it actually did happen on Friday. It happened on SmackDown because I'm watching it right now. Oh, she is it's like she had a. This might have been the move was because somebody was saying she botched the move. That looks like the botch right there. Yeah, that wasn't supposed to go that way. That's what. Yeah, she injured it right there. Damn! But she finished the match. Uh, maybe she started having pain in it. I don't know, man. We'll have to we'll have to see what happens, man. But either way, she's out of this tournament, man. I feel bad for JC Jane. That's why I wanted Mandy Rose to at least cover for her instead of this lame fatal four way. But I mean, if Dakota Kai and and, and EO Sky was gonna win that match anyways, I guess it doesn't even matter. But um we'll see what happens with that, man. But sad news on that end. We won't see Toxic Attraction on Friday in Detroit. Uh, I actually know someone who was going to that on Friday, and it was so looking forward to seeing the Toxic Attraction on Friday in the show. I'm sorry, y'all, man. That, that, that's sad, man. But go ahead and give this video a like, y'all. Hit that like button for me. Share the video. Um, subscribe to the channel, especially if you're doing the zoo. Any comments I got, definitely put them below. 
Uh, and if you want to donate to the channel, hit the uh, super thanks button below. But yeah, man, I hate this, man, because they had such an impressive, 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 uh, man. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. They had such an impressive, impressive debut, man. Ah. But it's not the end, man. So we'll see what happens on NXT tomorrow, how Mandy Rose deals with this and Toxic Attraction. Pretty sure we're going to hear from him. We'll see what happens tomorrow, man. But uh, but I'll see y'all later, man. Thank you for watching. After news, the like.